What's up Steven Knights? Today's video is on the past life of Trisha Paytas. I owe it to Quentin Tarantino. Mr. Tarantino, oh I love you so. I cannot really rhyme for love, but I guess I'll give it a go. Fuck the police, coming straight from the valley. They pull me over because I look like Barbie. I don't dress conservative and so police think they can stop and flirt with me just because I got boobies. But fuck that shit, because I got a man. But there you go, you piss them off and now they lie because they can't say it. I'm speeding and they'll see me in court, tapping on the desk and then they call me a whore. <laughs> and I know there's alternatives. You tell me all the time, like adoption and surrogates and freezing your eggs, but <laughs> I really just want to be able to have my Please watch to the end to find out whether I lost my virginity to Trisha Paytas. First, we'll be talking about her education life. To be honest, I don't think she really had much of an education due to the fact that she doesn't know what's right or wrong to say online. I have looked everywhere to find out if she had any qualifications, but it seems that's the only thing that I could find that she's qualified in is as a stripper, TV actress and model. The only rise to fame to which I saw Trisha has succeeded in and other content creators is to show off their body on Instagram. No wonder why most of the girls I see in college are dressed in prerogative outfits. Too many influences. The internet says that she went to Pecatonica and Freeport High School. I'm surprised how she lasted that long. No, I'm not talking about the sexual way. I'm talking about how she lasted long in school and kept dropping out to become a full-time actress. Man, this girl has daddy issues. Moving back and forth with dad all the time when she has a disagreement with her mum. I think her family literally broke apart from one argument. You know what I like to call those type of people? The failures of society. Let's have a look at her videos where she plays the victim. And even crying now, every, if I would cry like this, I have cried like this, I would have called Jason and he says, stop, stop with the fake tears, you're manipulating me. It's like, it's no, there's actual pain and, and I'm just going to put it all out on this video and I'm starting with David because even though Jason's creepy and disgusting, David's on a whole other level of being an actual horrible person. You can see the acting classes have definitely been useful as she fake cries. It reminds me of the time when I couldn't watch videos because they were on premium online. Shut up, a boy has his needs, okay? Moving on to her work life and you'll probably be surprised in what she's tried to achieve in. She tried to pursue her dream as an actress and singer, but that didn't work out as well as she hoped. God, no wonder, she probably lost her singing voice through the amount of sexual things she does with her mouth. Thank God I refuse to be in an adult film with her, I'm too innocent and I want to be the next 40 year old virgin. Trisha didn't really have much of an experience in the work life and it definitely gives us the impressions through the amount of time she spends on editing and filming. She tried to break a world record for the fastest talker but failed miserably. I know exactly what world record she could have broken. The amount of guys she could have slept with in a week. Ah, gotta love that sweet warm apple pie. With the cherry on top, you gotta be very careful not to knock it over. I wouldn't want to have sloppy seconds off a stranger. Actually, I've already done that. Oh god, I'm being exposed now. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I got a little bit off track. I was most certainly not thinking about Trisha Paytas. Now we are gonna move on to the juicy bits. Relationships. It won't surprise you how many relationships she's been in. What you expect? She loves to have fun a lot. That's why she has a Patreon where she tries to entice males and females to give her helping hand. It makes you wonder how she gets someone to edit for her, but I feel she doesn't have anyone to edit her videos because they don't want to catch a disease off her. Understandable, really. She's been in relationships with over 10 people. That's more relationships than I've ever been in. I've only been in three, and that's because I'm a crazy little virgin boy. These relationships that she's probably been in got her famous in the first place. She went out with someone called Nick Nemeth, oh wow, who was a professional wrestler in a WWE. Man, gotta get this hard, man. Look at his muscles, Jesus Christ! Last time I tried to get fit for the ladies, that didn't work out to plan because I was called a fuckboy. Now that's brilliant life for you. Imagine being in my life. You won't want that, trust me. Trisha, my challenge for you is to get a million of ex-boyfriends by the end of a year. Someone, please go out with me. I'm desperate. I'm single. And I'm ready to mingle. Now, it's the time you have been waiting for. We are going to look at the controversies she's been involved in. In 2012, she dressed up as a Japanese pop star. Oh God. The worst thing about this is that she tanned her face to a point where she looked like an Oompa Loompa. Let's go for it. Arigato Ben Bato. Ah, it's Trishy. 
no, it's not Trishy, it's Trisha. Um, before I get into this little bit of a haul, I just wanted to explain why my pop star Trishy Kiss Kiss music video was taken down. You know, I didn't think it was bad. I thought, you know, it was supposed to be a parody music video, and so I thought, mission accomplished. But I guess she was getting, um embarrassed by it and she asked me to take it down and I was like you know I'm sorry I can't you know you came out on your own free will and then anyways it ended up being a battle with YouTube. I've got a great way and you can call this Luke Solutions because they work perfectly fine 99% of the time. Trisha you can get more attention by shaving off your hair and eyebrows. Trust me it works. You're probably asking yourself how I know it works. I know it works because I did it myself. I quite enjoyed the attention of being called a boiled egg and being kicked around and everything. Yeah, it really taught me a lesson there. Trust me, she only cares about how much money she's going to make and how many views she's going to get. Which is quite disgraceful, to be honest. The next controversy is... Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Trisha wanted to become a chicken nugget. I think you've succeeded there, Trish. I am not fat shaming, but you probably eat a lot of chicken nuggets. As the saying goes, you are what you eat. If you think about it, if she eats dick, wouldn't that make her a dick? Honestly, everything else she's done, from the sexuality thing to the gender thing, she's taken the piss. She's taken the piss out of people who've actually got really bad mental problems. Like, for example, people with schizophrenia, alright? They may think they're in a different world. What's Trisha gonna do? She's gonna copy. I mean, she's the most disgraceful human being I've ever seen. The last controversy, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm covering on this very special video is her getting exposed by Nick Cocado Avocado. Well, how the fuck do you pronounce his name? Nick Covado... Fuck, I'm, I think I'm dyslexic now. Nick Cocado Avocado. Jesus, that's one hell of a tongue tie, isn't it? There's too much she's been involved in. So if you want to see a part two to this video, please make sure you subscribe and comment part two. Thank you. Right, let's get right into the video and see what's happening right here. But apparently there's receipts and everything, as in the thumbnail and title. <laughs> this is my Nicocado Avocado. Okay. Okay. I see that. You know, you have your Olympic book in this, but okay. I'm, I'm gonna be real, okay? You mean he got cameo and everything? Like, okay. He wants the seat. <laughs> he wanted me to tell you what I love and what I don't love about you. I'm not... Uh, listen, she literally said, uh, oh, you want the tea? Let me be real. He wants the tea. I'm, I'm gonna be real, okay? Trisha, what have you done to this poor guy? He's crying. This is terrible. And I'm not lying here, audience. I'm about to cry about how much this hit me in the heart, right? No one deserves to be made out as a horrible human being, especially from Trisha Paytas. She makes up shit. And that's my honest opinion, she makes up the most utter shit on YouTube. I'm gonna be real, she's a liar. And she's manipulative. And um, this was not, oh, she had a bad day, she has mental problems. This was not, oh, I have a pass because I had a breakdown and I, my judgment was clouded that day. This was calculating, this was um, deceiving, and this was something that she, to this day, still puts energy into. Yes, she's a deceiving character. Thank you, Nick. You actually made a really good point here. I'm pretty sure what she is doing right now is against the YouTube terms of service and it's cyberbullying. Trisha, if you want to say something horrible to someone, say it to their face, not online. Don't you realize how this could affect the well-being of others? Okay, if you watched this last topic I'm going to cover, thank you so much. Now, the last topic we're going to cover is whether she's been involved with the police. Luckily, we did find something, and it's about her jaywalking and other things. She also goes to court, apparently, so I'm guessing there's something super serious here. Okay, what's up, everybody? Sweet tea in the house here. Okay, um, I just had to, like, get this off my chest, okay? Because something that's been getting me down, or should I say holding me down, is the motherfucking man. The man tried to bring me down. And you know who the man is? The man is the LAPD. LAPD keep trying to hold me down. Um, in the past two weeks, I've gotten five pullovers and two tickets. And next week, I've got two court appearances. That is two court appearances. One for jaywalking, and I wasn't even jaywalking. I was in the Galleria. I was crossing onto Palpatine and the Church to the Galleria in a crosswalk. Great, now we're halfway through the video, and she's talking about why police are doing a terrible job. She's also made a rap. 
Now this is not even great, is it? But the police coming straight from the valley. They pull me over because I look like Barbie. I don't just conservative and so police think they can stop and flirt with me. Jeez, she's a real Barbie girl now, isn't she? I think you're trying to act like an A-list celebrity, aren't you? Anyway guys, that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on. Otherwise, there'll be a letter coming to your door complaining about why you're not watching my videos. Hit that like button. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And please, 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 I don't stress enough. Can you please comment whether you want a part two? Because that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Anyway, peace out. Stay awesome. Have a great day. And I shall see you in the next video. Stephen Knights.